Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and welcome to my shack for another Ham Shack chat. I just picked up the new ICOM IC7760 right back here, and I've been playing with it for the last month or so. While working with it on digital modes, I ran into a tiny little problem. He's so tiny. I'll get more into that as we get deeper into the video, but I'm not one to just leave a problem unresolved. So I came up with a couple of solutions to the problems, which I will show you during this video. As always, any questions, alternative solutions, constructive criticisms, or just general remarks can and should be left in the comment section below. Any questions, comments, snide remarks? No? Good. There's a problem with the ICOM IC7760, and it is a problem that's going to resolve itself hopefully soon. Many of the data programs have not updated their settings to allow for direct choice of a IC7760. This doesn't mean that you can't use the 7760 with these data programs, but you got to know about the workarounds. There are two workarounds. Now I want to start by showing you what our CIV default address in the 7760 is. We'll go to our menu, go to settings, connectors. So we'll go into CI5 and right up here is our CI5 address. That is B2. The H indicates as a hexadecimal number. So B2 is the identification of this particular radio. I'm going to back on out of here and I'm going to go back into my menu and show you what I've done. I like using my presets, so we're going to go into our preset. You see I've got the FT8 one right here. I'm going to go in here and edit this memory. First thing I'm going to do is change the preset name. So instead of FT8, because this will work with all of your digital modes, I'm going to click on this, select there, we're going to clear this out, and we're going to call this Digi-B2, and we're going to enter that. I'm going to go through all of these so you can duplicate them. I'm not going to talk about every one. see our CIV address. I've got that set for the Bravo 2, the B2. Finally, you want to come to this last page and make sure that you click on write. And yes, we want to overwrite. Them. So now on our header, we've got our Digi B2. Now the other one I've entered is our Digi 98. So I'm going to press and hold this. I'm going to edit the preset memory. This is identical in every way to the one that I've already set up. So let me just go down here and you'll see I have changed my CI5 address to 98 hex. This is the address for my IC7610. And just come out here and I'm going to put it on the DigiB2 for now. So I'm going to load this one. Yes. And when you're using a preset, it overwrites everything that's in your regular menu settings. Back on out of here, and I want to show you where I found our CI5 addresses. And I'll, I'll start by saying you can always look up the owner's manual and find one that works. I'm going to show you all the various addresses that you can use. I'm going to close this down. I'm going to bring up my WinLink Express, and I'm going to open my VARA HF WinLink session. Here I'm going to go into my settings, radio setup. I'm going to pick out my 7610, and you'll see there's my 98 right up in here. You can also use the 9100, which is 7C, and let's move this up. You can use virtually any other ICOM rig. I'm going to come up here to my 7300, that's a 94, and let's look at the 7410, that's an 80. This is where I've identified the ICOM address. You can, of course, download any other ICOM radio that uses the same CAT controls. All of these use the same CAT controls. The only difference is that ICOM address. 
in the next segment, I'll be proving to you that these spoofs actually work with four examples. We'll be looking at WinLink using the VAR IHF modem, JS8 call, VARAC, and WSJTX. This same resolution can be used with any software that includes CAT controls. In other words, if your rig has a USB port on the back that connects to your computer, you can use this. For example, FL Digi, N3FJP loggers, Log for OM, and Ham Radio Deluxe. However, I'll leave you to your own devices to figure out the best way to integrate these softwares with your rig. If you think this video may be of interest to your friends and compatriots in the ham radio community, or if you feel like you've learned something new, please share. I want to tell you everything. Especially on any social media sites that you might frequent. Also, if you're enjoying this presentation so far, Please take a moment to kerchunk that thumbs up icon and give me a like. It's more than like. Just a caveat before we get started here, I'm just going to show you the connection to the IC7760. I'm going to show you the two possibilities, i.e. using the preset for the B2, which is the 7760, and using the preset for the IC7610, which is 98. So we're starting off with WinLink using the VARA HF connection. I'm open here. I'm going to go to my settings, go to radio setup, and you can see that I have the ICOM7610 here and I've changed my address to B2, which is identifying this rig, regardless of what the label up here says, as a IC7760. I've set my COM port to the one for the 7760, and yours will probably change. I've set my baud rate for the one that's in the 7760, and there are variations on this that you can choose. And down here, just the same as up here, I've identified the serial port to use for push to talk as the 7610. So in this case, we are spoofing the program to think that an ICOM 7610 is really a 7760. So I'm going to click update here. So that's what's loaded there. I'm going to come up here to my channel selector. And you see I've got all my channels here. And I'm going to pick this one right here. So right now you can see my rig is showing me in 80 meters. And if I pick this one, it's going to change to this 7102. So my CAT controls are working. Now I'm going to come back here. I'm going to go to my settings, radio setup. I'm going to select the IC7610 here. I've still got my COM port and everything set here. And instead of using B2, I'm going to change this to 98, which indicates that it is, in fact, a 7610. That's the ICOM address for 7610. Now we're going to go to our menu, going to go to our presets, and I'm going to change my preset from the B2 one. Unload that, yes, and load this one. So now, my rig is saying, hey everybody, I'm an IC7610. So let me get back here and I'm going to update. I'm going to go to my channel selector. Let me find a different frequency to use here. Here, we'll go back to 80 meters. W6IDS, I'm going to double click on that. And you see that my rig has in fact changed to the 3583 of the W6IDS RMS. Now we're going to take a look at JS8 call and if I come up here to my file and settings, I go to my radio and I go to the pull down menu, you'll see that I do not have a 7760 on my list. So I'm going to choose my IC7610. I'm going to go back to my settings here go to my presets. I'm going to change my preset to the one for 98, unload the B2 and load the 98. First thing I want to do is test my cat. It's good. Test my push to talk. That's good. My audio is set properly. So we'll go to here to cat control. I'm on COM 17. 19200, which is what my 
7760 is set for it. And I'm going to come in here. I'm going to close the settings. I'm going to come here. I'm going to change my frequency and let's go up to a 15 meter. And you can see I'm changing my frequency accordingly. Change is good. So that works on this one. And because we don't have a 7760 option in the settings, this is what you have to do here. Now we're looking at VARAC or VAR AC, and it uses the VARA modem to have a nice chat. We're going to come up here to settings. Go to rig control and VARA configuration. It does have a 7760 in the pull down. It also has the 7610. So you can use either the 98 or the B2 here. I'm going to go into my rig, go to my presets, unload the 98 and load the B2. And we'll get back out of here and to show you that the cat control for PTT is going through. That's there, and then it's off. Now, just here, I can test this. If I click test, it should change to 7.105. So let's see if that works. And there we are. And again, you can test anything you want. So here's 15 meters. So it is sending the cat controls off. Now this is the preferred method. If you've got it in the pull down, use the 7760. You can use the alternate method of using the 98 with the 7610. It's just a nice to have as an alternative. So here we are on everybody's favorite WSJTX. And I'm going to come here to my radio tab under settings and you'll see I do have the pull down. So just like before, if you've got the pull down, use the pull down, make sure everything's here. And just as a quick reminder, I'm using the DigiB2 preset. So I'm going to get out of here and back on out of there. And you'll see that I do have my COM17, my 1900 here. I'm going to test my cat and get the green light and test the push to talk and that works. Again, my audio is set and we're going to just click OK. I'm going to come here. I'm going to change this to 40 meters and you can see that it did in fact change. If I wanted to go to FT4, again, I've changed. I can come up here. I can change this to 10 meters. So my cat controls are working there. I'm not going to bother showing you the 98 because you, you know how that'll work. And those are the four digital modes that I wanted to show you works with this particular methodology. So there you have it. Problem identified, fixes postulated, fixes applied, and finally fixes proven. I hope that you've enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you. I also hope that you've learned a bit more about the cat controls on the ICOM IC7760 and other ICOM rigs. Please remember to comment, like, and share this video. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel. 73 until the next Hey Y'all, thanks for dropping into my shack for a ham shack chat. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out.